All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is Don't Waste Your Time Listening or Watching Junk. And when I say junk, I mean junk that's related to you, like something you think is not worth your time. And the reason I bring this up is because I am somebody who despises commercials. Uh, That could go for on the radio. It could go for on television. And, you know, I can't, I get we need, I guess a lot of people like commercials because they're very informative. I just think they're a waste of time for me. It also, I think, has a way of programming us that I don't like to be programmed. I think there's so much wasted time in between, say, the radio or something like television And I get people also make money and they're living off of this. So it's fine. For everyone else, you know, it's cool. For me, I don't like it. I'm someone who just doesn't want to waste time watching or listening to other people's pitches or bullshit. And again, I understand a lot of networks have to pay to do whatever they're doing to enjoy whatever you want to watch, you know, for them to create that, there has to be some form of advertising. Same with the radio. If there was no advertising, there'd be no radio. I get it, but it's just not my thing. So a lot of times when people talk to me about certain things, I have no idea what they're talking about. The same kind of goes with the news. And, you know, I only listen to the news that I want to listen to, but again, I don't listen to any commercials. What was a godsend to me was YouTube, And I think for a lot of people, and I think I don't pay anymore, but I think I used to pay $10 a month. It was accidental because I started watching Cobra Kai. And and I've been watching YouTube for years, but I'm saying Cobra Kai came in and I love the show. And then with the commercials, it was aggravating me. Or you had to get a free subscription. I can't remember. My girlfriend did it all for me. But I realized you don't have to watch commercials because you constantly ended up hitting skip, skip, skip. But YouTube, now I don't have any commercials. Plus I have my own channel, so I don't even think I pay for it because I hit a certain status. But my point being, even when watching television, I record the things I want to watch and I just, truthfully, I fast forward through the commercials. If I'm watching something like Netflix or you know Hulu or any of those as well, HBO Max and stuff, they obviously don't have commercials. I think what happened to me was when I was younger, I was obsessed with the VHS. First, it was Betamax because if you didn't go to a movie theater, I love watching trailers at the movie theater, which was kind of cool at that point in time because that was the only time you'd see trailers. And then I would watch the movie with no commercials, and I fell in love with that. And before cable, I'd be watching TV, and I kept all my favorite movies or even television shows kept being interrupted by all this corny shit. And it would make me crazy inside. I, I don't care if it was a Kool Aid commercial or if it was a you know something anything related cooking. I don't even if it was a car commercial. I was so aggravated. Even watching sporting events would make me nuts because we used to watch Friday night fights and even Monday night football. Obviously Sunday night football back then, and all and, and there were commercials, but not like now the excessiveness. So here's something I do. I basically like I was just saying. I record whatever I want as far as television goes, even sports. I usually jump in about an hour and a half. I don't understand why people watch sports live for the most part, unless you're at a bar or a restaurant at home. Because if I'm watching a football game for three hours, I can assure you probably an hour to 15, hour to 30 minutes, probably in a three, three and a half hour game, our commercials are pretty damn close. It's insane. And I quit listening to the radio probably because I was traveling so much. So... I, I couldn't. I heard every song that I ever wanted to hear. I just couldn't take it. Plus, there again were so many commercials. I just started to use my phone, either pipe it in or put something on my phone, which could include a podcast, a video of some sort, or even music. But I'm here to tell you, you do not. Just so you know, you don't have to put up with a lot of these commercials or all this bullshit advertising. I'm just telling you. I think a lot of people, and I see this with my parents, even watching the news, if they have their favorite shows, even on. Uh, television, they're always complaining about commercials or you go there and they're wa- I'm like, just record it and then fast forward it through the commercials. Uh, and here's the thing. I'm just going to wrap it up with this. And the reason I bring this up, the whole thing about me bringing this up is just not me about complaining about commercials or advertising. If, if I watch 
a certain amount of football games or television shows, right? If you add up, say, I don't watch a ton, but if you do certain things and say it's normally three hours, but I take out commercials and take out an hour of commercials here and say a half an hour episode of something, I take out 12 minutes, say in an hour episode, I take out 20 minutes. If you look at all the time I'm wasting watching shit that I don't want to watch, look at the end of the month, how much time I've saved. If you want to read more, hypothetically, then you know what? Stop watching a lot of shows that have commercials or stop listening to a lot of things, maybe even on, it could be the radio, it could be whatever. Now, if you like the spontaneousness of a radio or you like certain radio talk shows and things that have advertising and commercial, more power to you. I just don't give them the time of day. But I do think one of the reasons I accomplished a lot of things that I accomplished was because I didn't waste all that extra time, like I said. So when I watch football on a Sunday, if I tape two games, for instance, instead of that taking me six and a half, seven hours, I can knock that out literally in four or less. And I'm also not distracted. That could go for anything. Also, when I was driving a lot, what I realized too is a lot of Things where I'm listening to the radio, for instance, and having to listen to all the commercials or all the advertising. It, I could take that time in the car and use it. I could be listening to an audio book. I could be, again, listening to a podcast. Something with no commercials or no interruptions and very informative and very teaching me something, I guess you could say, instead of a lot of bullshit. So I just want to do a, you know, a, uh, a podcast on this, especially if you watch the news. I don't care. Most people, a lot of people I know still watch, you know, 6 o'clock, 6.30 news, maybe 9 in the morning, maybe 10 o'clock at night, whatever the case may be. Record it. You knock the commercials out. Your half an hour news is probably only about 18 uh, minutes. So you have, you know, you're knocking that thing out. And if you don't like the story, you're out of there in 15 minutes instead of 30. And that can go for a lot of things. You would be, I don't care if it's your favorite, if you watch ESPN. I don't know if you watch a lot of your favorite shows, you'd be shocked. It's almost, sometimes you'd say half the amount of time. All that time saved, again, you could be doing other things you want to do instead of being kind of programmed on stupid shit on the, for the most part that you don't even need or that you don't use. Or, I will say this too, and I am going to wrap it up with this officially, a lot of commercials, I believe, or a lot of advertising is programming you to make you feel like maybe something is wrong with you, you need a certain type of meds or you need a certain type of whatever, it's a lot of bullshit. I'm just telling you, by me knocking out all of that, I can't tell you like the difference because anything I want to uh, really learn about, I can learn about, but I will say this too. When I get a lot of us learn about certain products and things from advertising and stuff like that, but most of my friends, family members, and colleagues will tell me about these things. So I don't have to be, I don't need to necessarily, like if a new Corvette comes out, I don't need to see a commercial on it 25 times, okay? All I need to do is have someone tell me about it or a certain product or this or that. And the thing is with a lot of commercials and advertising, as you know, you don't watch it once. You, they make you watch it literally dozens, if not hundreds of times after a certain amount of time. It's insane. It may not be the same item, but it's the same company. So anyways, I just think... It's kind of whack with commercials and advertising, what it's become. It's just a little too much, I think, for me. So I just wanted to do a podcast on this. All right? That's all I got for you guys. I'm trying to just give you my two cents when it comes to trying to save as much time and kind of just breaking away from being forced, I think, a lot of times, or just getting caught in a routine doing things that you don't realize you don't have to put up with anymore. All right? All right. Take care, and if you have any questions or comments, hit me up.